If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I love the Renko chart. I've also noticed that you guys like to use TradingView. And because of that, I've put together this video on how to set up a Renko chart, the basic step-by-step -step guide to getting going with Renko in Trading View. And if you really want to learn more about Renko and try and get that trading edge for 2023 and beyond, then at the end of the video, a big playlist put together from the channel all about the Renko chart, strategy, ideas, designs, concepts, the whole lot, all waiting for you to jump on into. But let's get started first with looking at how you set up a Renko chart on TradingView and all the important factors, points you need to know when doing so. So first up and most importantly, and this catches a lot of people out, is that you can't get Renko charts unless you've got the Pro Plus or Premium subscription on TradingView. And if you head into pricing, you'll see what you get for your money. And you can see there, you know, if you're on the basic or the Pro, you're not going to get those Japanese chart types. Pro Plus, Premium, that's what you need. Then we need to set up a new layout. Now I've got the S&P E-mini futures as the example here. That's just a typical candlestick. Now, where do we go to convert that to Renko? Up in the top left, we've got this um, little pattern there, candles. Click on that, scroll down to Renko. Simply click on the Renko. We don't need the volume and we can get rid of that just by highlighting or right click and remove. Now, the important thing for the setup is the block size. Now, I've got a load of videos on this and a comprehensive playlist and all you need to know about Renko, that'll be at the end of this video for you to follow. And I'm not gonna go into the methodology here, but to change the settings, you've got two options. You can right click on the blocks and hit settings like that, or you can just go up to the chart um, title there and hit on the three buttons and again go to the settings. Now, important to note when setting up your Renko chart, you've got two options for the block size. This is an automatic one using average true range, ATR, and you can change the length. Um, that's gonna be the number of blocks length. So if you wanted 140, it's gonna look back the last 140 blocks. Looks like there's only a maximum size of 100 there, um, allowing you in trading view now the other option is the traditional method and it's like a fixed block size so you've got to work out what's an appropriate size number nine for one of the uh, S&P setups I got to use a 30 block so I would type that in there hit OK and then we have starting to get our blocks now another important point back to settings this guy here source close open high low close if you lose the close it's going to give you smoother data less granularity and less movement of the blocks um, open, if I just switch that to open high low close you'll see a change in the chart you will see more blocks being printed there on the the screen up to you on your strategy I'd suggest you back test it see what method works I use both in different situations again check out the videos to find out why I do so but that gives you the basic setup now another setting change is I changed what they've added on called the wicks you see there on those blocks they've added those little thin lines there to represent um, the price movement over you know around that you know block um, but from my experience that isn't really that used a concept I'm not saying it's right or wrong but it's not really that used. so I remove that again by clicking on the settings and then just removing the wick and I find actually the data is a lot clearer and more usable without the wick if you want you want to get a bit more artistic you can create any color setup you like for the up and the down blocks completely up to you and they've got some projection bars those are blocks that haven't quite um, completed yet they're in process of being built 
Another important concept is time frame. Now, in trading view, it does add in time when the theory of you know Renko is it should just be price movement only. And that's because if we go again into the top, we've got this period button. Now it defaults onto the chart, so it's going to give you a period of time. If I show you what I mean by that, you know, if I change that down to one minute that has given us a lot closer you know more smaller blocks because they change every one minute whereas if i change that up to say weekly again you can see the time you know frame changes and it gives you a different perspective and those blocks aren't going to complete until the week has set itself so if you're a more active trader you might miss out on there again got video um, on you know setting up the appropriate blocks in that playlist you know if you're a scalper you might want that one minute one because it's going to print and close off every one minute so important factor there once you've got your basic setup then the beauty of using trading view um, and again from what I've seen not all chart packages allow you to put indicators on top or below the Renko charts if you want to do that head up to the indicators tab and have a play um, you know see what you like and you want to add again in my uh, videos the playlist I put combination of ideas together for you you know it's very easy to you know, add take away you know do whatever you like just you know we've got Bollinger Bands and directional movement indicator on there so have a play and come up with your own strategies but um, We've also got the uh, drawing tools down the side. Don't forget Fibonacci. You know, works nicely here as well. You can draw on these charts as well. You know, it's you know, a really flexible you know setup that TradingView have provided you here um, to use, and really that's all you need to know on the basics of setting up your Renko chart in TradingView and now coming up that playlist you know if you really want to get your teeth into Renko that's coming up now